Hi, my name is Neil with Diamond Mowers, and I'm here today to conduct a walk around inspection and orientation of a Diamond Mowers skid steer drum mulcher. With this cutter, it's very important that your loader is sized appropriately. Diamond requires a high flow rate of 32 to 45 gallons a minute and a lift capacity of at least 3,000 pounds. A track style loader is also preferred because it will uh, be more stable on rough terrain and be less likely to lose traction over mulch material. The Diamond Drum Mulcher works well on land clearing jobs where most of the trees are between 2 and 10 inches in diameter. With a full 72 inches of cutting width, the drum deposits much of its material directly in front of or behind it, making it a great machine to use in tight quarters. It does, however, still have the potential to throw debris, so pay attention to your surroundings. Also, because it will throw debris, a shadow resistant front window is mandatory. So if your machine is not equipped with one, Diamond does provide Lexan doors for many makes and models. Contact your local dealer or visit diamondmowers.com for more information. Attach the hoses to the loader with the quick coupler fittings. The case drain line comes with both male and female fittings, so choose the one that works best with your particular machine. If the case drain line is not connected, the motor output shaft seal will fail and be sure to clean your connections before attaching to prevent contamination. Diamond's drum mulcher works in some pretty rough conditions and damage is bound to occur. Inspect your hoses and fittings frequently for leaks or other damage. If you do see a hydraulic leak, shut it down immediately or you could drain your entire system. And if your system runs dry, you will damage your carrier. After mounting, make sure your hoses are protected in all positions from stretching or pinching. Diamond uses hardened steel teeth rather than carbide to deliver a more efficient cut. Hardened steel teeth are sharp and act like an axe to slice through material. Carbide teeth act like a sledgehammer to bludgeon the material, taking more power to do the same amount of work. Inspect your teeth frequently to make sure that they are sharp and tight. A loose tooth may come off and create a balance issue. The torque spec for these teeth is 120 foot-pounds. Diamond steel teeth can be sharpened with an angle grinder by touching up the inside edges to restore the points. You can also extend the life of the teeth by rotating them 180 degrees within their holder. Proper teeth sharpening and rotating will increase the longevity of these consumable parts, resulting in greater productivity and profit. In the event a tooth holder becomes damaged or comes off, they are replaceable. Simply grind the welds flat, position a new holder, and then weld it in with a consistent size weld. The drum also uses depth control rings to prevent too big of a bite, which can slow production. Check them daily for cracks and debris buildup between the rings. Make certain the drum is clear from any damage like bends or cracks and the tooth holders are secure. The ends of the drum are protected from material wrapping with anti-wrap plates located on either side of the drum. The two-piece replaceable inner liner protects the frame from wear and helps to aid in processing of material. The drive motor is a variable displacement two-speed motor. This setup will give you a high speed for fast production in light material and lower speed high torque for heavier material. The shift point is tunable to your carrier by changing the shift control module. Information about the shift control module is included in the operator's manual. Failure to correctly tune the machine to your carrier will result in reduced performance. The drum is attached to the motor with a Kevlar reinforced cog belt. Check the belt tension every 150 hours or monthly. It should have approximately one inch of deflection on the top side of the belt. Make sure to check the belt tension when the machine is cold, as checking it when it is warm will give you a false reading. To adjust the tension, loosen the four motor bolts and adjust the motor position with the adjustment bolt. The drum runs on heavy duty bearings that need to be greased with 10 pumps of number two lithium grease every day. We recommend greasing at the end of the day when bearings are warm. The push bar is adjustable to the operator's preference, either in the standard position here or in the forward position. The skid shoes are a wear item and are replaceable when worn. Simply cut the welds holding the old skid shoes in place and weld in a new one. 
The diamond drum mulcher and land clearing work in general requires more diligent maintenance than other applications. Make certain to follow all of your carrier manufacturer's recommended maintenance procedures. For more information, visit us online at diamondmowers.com. The Skid Steer Drum Mulcher by Diamond Mowers, where you can demand brilliance.